My name is Maria Kuzma. I am a snowboarder and I have a passion for being in the mountains. I also love to be at the ocean, having a connection to the sea and the tropics in my childhood in Papua New Guinea and in Borneo. I had a super nomadic upbringing and that gave me a unique perspective on the world. Being nomadic also made me experience many different environments and cultures from a very young age. I completed a master's degree in architecture while snowboarding and that kept me on the fringes of the status quo. Over the years, I've made it a priority to be in the mountains and at the sea and I'm at a point now where I'm prioritising work on projects that are solutions to the environmental crisis. When we look at some statistics, it can be too overwhelming. We are in the midst of a climate crisis, a biodiversity loss crisis, a waste and pollution crisis, let alone a human rights crisis. At least 14 million tonnes of plastic end up in the ocean every year, and our rivers and oceans are sick and they are getting sicker. Once I made that decision to prioritise doing and protecting what I love, those statistics about our natural environments collapsing becomes less anxiety inducing. And of course, when you're focusing on the solutions, the problems all of a sudden are not as daunting. I'm a Tule ambassador and during one of our Tule crew events, I met another Tule crew ambassador who has spent his whole career as a professional extreme kayaker, researching the water quality of Brazil's waterfalls and rivers, and analyzing the adverse effects of human habitation on those ecosystems. So Pedro Oliver and I teamed up with the support of Tule under their Pathos Initiative to start a project to reactivate a school and community's connection to their river. Recycle Build is the carry-on result of one of Pedro's Pathos projects the Waterfalls Project back in 2015. The research team from the Waterfalls Project accumulated a lot of data specifically around human habitation and their effect on the quality of their rivers and essentially the quality of water. So as a result of that research project, we are now embarking on a mission to build a school in Sao José dos Campos in Brazil on a site where two important rivers meet with the intention to reconnect the school and the community to the river and to make the building users more aware of how they interact with our precious resource, which is water. We will be building wastewater systems, IoT devices located in and around the new school. And the school is being reorganized. So we're flipping the entry zone so that the school itself faces the river rather than turning its back to it. So when we started our Recycle Build project, our concept won the World Architecture Festival Water Research Award. Uh, we truly believe that by protecting and rehabilitating rivers, we are rebuilding our connection with nature and therefore with ourselves and a new generation. At the beginning of the pandemic in 2019, I joined a team with a mission to develop New Cycle, the concept of a waste impact offset to manage our current global waste and pollution crisis and upscale the implementation of waste to value technologies. New Cycle believes that the circular economy is the only way to reverse and regenerate the earth while still creating resources that promote a high quality of life. What's exciting about New Cycle is that there's opportunity for major positive impact where cross-industry collaboration can happen. One example is that my outerwear sponsor Protest Clothing will be offsetting the waste impact of their employees. Having protests transformed three specific waste streams of their employees' waste impact, that being plastic, bio-waste and glass, means that in just one year, the equivalent of 33,000 kilograms of waste will be removed out of those environments most impacted by the global waste crisis. One of our waste conversion partners, GOTM, are located in the archipelago islands of Indonesia where non-recyclable plastic waste is collected and transformed locally into a high value quality product for use, specifically where the waste is collected. As an ocean lover myself, I've experienced quite often surfing in oceans that are teeming with plastic waste. So although I experienced the direct impact of the global waste problem, 
I do know that there are solutions out there that are being executed in real time by New Cycles Waste Conversion Partners. The more I work on solutions and research into our environmental impact, the more I realise how overwhelming of an issue it is, especially in the execution of these solutions. At a micro level though, I find myself asking how do I make a positive impact or how do I counterbalance my impact? When I look at the bigger picture here, as a human collective, I believe we have been losing the connection to nature, which intrinsically is the connection to ourselves. I truly advocate for everyone to find what we love and focus on our passions that can be applied to all different parts of environmental action. And in doing so, we will be guided to protecting what we love for the future generations.